Dang. Yo. Good news. What up, man? I don't have any good news, bro. Yeah, that's not bad. Dude. Um, these ain't bot niggas is online. No fucking way, man. Yeah, they need, they need to be dealt with, bro. Bro, like I'm, I'm recording my video gonna... right now, and I'm scared. I, I don't think I want to play current gen anymore. Wait, bro. how you know though, bro? What if you just got dropped off, man? Man, not only that, I seen a couple Twitter clips. Somebody tried to invite me to a party and ask me to play with them to test it out. I was like, I was like, you're not going to get me banned. <laughs> what is wrong with people? Bro? I haven't been on, man. I haven't been on all day, bro. Bruh, it's, um, it's, tough. It's, it's dark out there right now, bro. It's dark out there. But, like, but it was dark before, man. So I'm be pitch black now. This is a fact. But yo, I'm gonna I'm hit you back. This this oh man, I gotta I'm about to cry on on, on this video, man. Like it's man, over. It's you over. Got Seventeen green screens behind you. I know you've been recording. I mean, I mean you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's what I do. Alright, man. Alright, bro. So I want to welcome you guys to a new video um about NBA 2K21 and the aimbot. Um, yeah, so I just had to let agent know that aimbot is officially online. Um, basically within the last 36 hours, all reports have been coming through that you can use some type of controller. I will not endorse this controller at all because I don't want this thing to mess up our experience, which it already has, but there's something out there where you can have a certain type of controller hook it up with some type of script on PC or whatever the case may be. And you can literally get automatic greens. Now I'm gonna drop as much info as possible, but first I want to get this off my chest. NBA 2K, the Twitter account, the Instagram account, the TikTok, the franchise, the game, the company, the board directors, the devs, anybody that has anything to do with this game, I advise you to take shot aiming out of the game. The reason why I ask you to take shot aiming out of this game is because I'm telling you right now, these websites, these companies that are selling these products will make a killing off of your game and people will ride this wave to keep a 95 to 99 win percentage because they can't miss. And what I mean to you is when I say they can't miss. This aimbot is gonna destroy everything. Look, look at my face right now. I am distraught. I, okay, so let me tell y'all the story. I went on the 2K today, and you know, after all the reports came out, you know, all the tweets, um, a, a couple people hit me in the DM like, "Yo, um, look at this bullshit." Um, I seen agent video a few hours ago. I literally logged online to grind a couple badges for my player because of yes, I still play 2K. It's it's in me. And somebody hit me on PlayStation. No, I will not put their play, their PSN out. I don't want anybody to get banned. That's that's my whole thing. I really don't want nobody to get banned. But if you out here doing this, you know what I'm saying just know people recording. But somebody hit me. It was like, yo, bro, I got that new whatever it's called. And uh, I want to know if you want to play a couple games for me. Easy dubs. I'm like, no, nah, I'm I'm all the way good. I'm cool. Do your thing though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I holla at you. You know what I'm saying? Left the PlayStation party, all that, and just got up out of there as fast as possible. Because I don't know if that person was recording me 
in a in a call or to party chat or whatever trying to get me and make me an accomplice to what they doing that's not what i'm on but let me tell y'all this man people like nba 2k lab makes videos they're making videos with controllers that are modded the reason that they're able to get all of these great statistical data on jump shots and everything like that player builds all of this stuff timing milliseconds what has a better green window what doesn't is because of modded controllers but nobody ever thought to take that online at least not in 2k now the reason for this is because something in 2k called timing and latency when you're online inside of a game your jump shot for the most part is different from game to game you can't always have that set game where if you press square this amount of time or hold the analog up or down this amount of time, your shot will always hit. It won't always be perfect. It will sometimes hit on the line, but the green window for some of these bases are higher, which means you can green maybe three out of seven shots, four out of seven shots, not seven out of seven. When you green seven out of seven, you start looking questionable. Now we'll start saying to ourselves, it gotta be the badges. His badges are insane. Let me let me check this guy after I took that L. Okay, his badges are insane. But when you're playing in a game and a user is using shot aiming, and when every time he shoots the ball, the line is already in the green window. It's it's this is the line and this is the green window. As soon as the shot meter comes up, this is what it looks like. Every single time one of these people are using this goddamn script. Okay. So just imagine somebody brown shirt, gray pants, 2K shoes comes to the park and they raise the three point. That's the only thing they raised the three point. They're hitting fades. They're hitting limitless. They're hitting corner threes. They're high behind screens with the curry slot. They are driving you crazy. But not only that, they're aiming. Their shot aiming is literally in the green window as soon as the bar pops up. If you've ever played with shot aiming, it's a little off. Sometimes it's off a little bit to the left. Sometimes it's off a little bit to the right. And you just have to move the analog a little bit like this in order to hit that window, right? Not these guys. They can press one button on the controller. They press the button. The shot will go up. The meter will be in the green window. They release the button and it's an automatic green. This hurts my heart to see this. Now, let me let you guys understand something. This is not new in the gaming industry. There have been a lot of people out there hacking and exploiting since I can remember. I remember on 2K10 and 2K11 when they used to have modded players, hacked players. I'm talking about Trey just did a video where we went back to NBA 2K11 and he had a, a crazy tall player, like 20 foot tall player. Like this is, this is, no, it's probably like 50, probably like 50 feet. That, that dude was insane. But these are the things that have been in his game for so long. And let's not talk about shooters. When we're talking about aim bots, we're talking about shooters that, let's say, for instance, you get quick scope and snipe stuff, right? Back in the day, we didn't think nothing of it. You know, we was playing Modern Warfare 2, stuff like that. But every time a person would just aim down the scope and, and it'd be the bang, you get shot in your head, bang, shot in your head. Whenever you go against somebody and then you get a drop shot, you're like, yo, how they hit me in my head? Aimbot has been around forever. So now that 2K has decided to bring in shot aiming, some genius, which I want to bring his neck, some genius out there decided, oh, since we got shot aiming, why not try our aimbot? Oh, look what I found, guys. I found a solution to get 90 plus, 95 plus, 99 win percentage. If 2K does not fix this problem with maybe patch six, if patch six, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to give 2K three patches to do this because patch three is on the way. And patch four, patch five, and patch six. If you guys do not address this shot aiming and y'all leave shot aiming in the game and there's nothing that you guys can do because these aim bots, these scripts, these controllers, 
they have nothing to do with your game, everybody will stop playing. Nobody will be online anymore. Nobody will need to spend VC at all because it's no need to make new players. Everybody already got their little play shots, meta builds, and they'll just run around the park all day and aim bot. So please, 2K, my message to you. Please take out shot aiming. I, I beg of you, please take it out. I knew that there was a problem with shot aiming when I was in a mock court with a 64 um, three ball hitting greens by just holding down the slightly to the left of the um, analog. I was hitting that with a 64 and it didn't really matter if it was my court or not. My build uh, uh, essentially should not be able to do that. And if you want to take it to my career, my build still shouldn't be able to do that. I shouldn't be able to hold the button to a certain degree and green every time with a 64 three pointer. This is worse, way worse than base 24 in NBA 2K19. This is way worse. So if you guys are saying, oh man, I've been hitting with a low three ball all, all the time for years. That's the point. We shouldn't be hitting these threes with these low freaking stats, bro. So just imagine somebody being a two-way slashing playmaker this year, maximum wingspan with a 64 to 68 three-pointer or even 69 three-pointer. And they're greening seven for seven. Movings, limitless, corners. What will you say then? And for everybody,